just editing at the moment but look at the day we have in London it is sunny blue sky such a change than what happens in Devon it's my nice garden the sun lounges I sunbathe in the summer but it's just it's just glorious apparently it's terrible in Devon but I mean it's just this is just London I love it it's just just flipping gorgeous, eh? Flipping gorgeous. It's so sunny today, but it's so cold. I had to go outside because my house delivery came. Food in the house. Um, there's a cricket field right outside my window, and there's obviously kids from school just running around. It is, it is so cold. I do not. I hated running at school, and I used to just we used to do the beep test. I just used to object and just walk it, and then get told off for not running. But, yeah. It's just for the army. I don't get it. Anyway, um, yeah, I hate cross country and running and stuff. Um, and these poor kids are just running around the field. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not in school anymore. Oh, the kids are going around again. Uh, no, most of them are walking it. Yeah, that's what they got the right idea. I don't know how many laps they're doing. She looks, she looks knackered. Oh, them two are just walking and talking. <laughs> oh, I love people watching. It's great. Some of them are wearing t-shirts. What? It's really not that warm. Put some clothes on or run a bit faster. Make yourself warm. Oh, those, those three are running. Uh, no. She, she gave up and started walking. <laughs> This afternoon, London gives us another another beautiful day. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, it's just glorious. Look, it's beautiful. I mean, it's only like, what, five to four? <laughs> it's like the sun's going down, it's just over there. But um, it doesn't show up that well on my camera, but it's absolutely beautiful. London is so pretty. I don't get people to say like London's a concrete jungle and it's really ugly. Because, in my opinion, this view is absolutely freaking gorgeous. London, you pretty. It's so beautiful. Got the glare of the light, isn't mm. it? This is five to five, so an hour on, and it's just absolutely glorious. I might do like a series of London sunsets. The sun's not actually over there. My camera looks burnt out where the sun is, but the sun's actually gone down. But how lovely is that? My parcels arrived from Devon. This one, this big one. Um. So, yeah, I need to open it. Unpack my Christmas presents. Should be fun. Try and some find some place in my room for them to go. And downstairs in the kitchen. Put my new lampshade on. So at the moment I've got this lampshade. Can't really see it. It's nice. It's purple. Got butterflies on it and beads. Um, my next one is like a darker purple. It's more like a chandelier sort of thing. So I'm going to open this box. I think this is the box that has it in. Um... Oh, my dad like put a, he did all the, the tape on it. It's a bit like Fort Knox. Right, I won't record opening it because I think it'll take me a while. I know you can't see it particularly well. That's my new lampshade. How cool is that? I'm going to turn off the light hanger. Oh no, that's my wish. But it so, looks so cool. And look at the nice pattern it leaves on the ceiling. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, it's so nice. It's really purple, and it doesn't really show off on my camera, but it's all purple. And it's got like little diamonds on it and everything. It's so nice. Love it. Another beautiful day in London. If I didn't know it was winter, I'd think it was hot outside, because it's so sunny and pretty. And um, blue sky and everything. But um, this morning, or well, this afternoon, I am just now getting ready to go to central London. Now... I thought I'd say why I'm going in, because I think it's very important. I'm going for a sexual health check. I think anyone who's been in a relationship 
should um, a sexual relationship or sexually active should um, go for one. I try and go for one every about year and a half just to make sure everything's fine. Um, I'm in London, so there are a few. There's one that's if you go to if you think that you have symptoms. And there's one that you can go to if you don't think you have any symptoms. Now, I don't think I have any symptoms. However, I do know that some STIs don't, um, like, you don't get symptoms for them. They don't prevent symptoms. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going off to do. They, um, it doesn't, it doesn't really hurt. They just take a few swabs. They, um, might take a urine sample and they take your blood as well. And it doesn't take very long, it's all confidential and they make you feel really comfortable. So that's what I'm doing today. It's very, like, it doesn't say like STI screening like on the building or anything. So if you walk in, people won't like be like, oh, why is she going in there? Why he's going in there? You know, um, but I think it's very important that it's not a taboo subject saying that you're going to go and get STI checked because it's very important just for your own, um, you know, just for your own health really so um if you've been putting it off go for one because it's just good and also like it's protecting yourself and your partner that um if you've just got a new partner or maybe you haven't been as safe as you should be then um yeah go and get yourself checked just to make sure you're absolutely fine so i've just got back from central london from having my um sti screening day Day. It really only takes about 20 minutes to half an hour. So you go in and you can you can barely like see that it's an STI screening clinic. It's all got like, red neon lighting outside, so you would never know what it is. You go in, it's really funky, and um, you show them the confirmation text you got of your appointment time, and then they give you a card with a barcode, and you go into this little like screen booth thing, and you scan your card, and then it asks you some questions about your sexual history. And then they give you like um, like a long cotton bed, and you have to go and like give a swab of yourself. Where I went to Fifty Six Dean Street last time, this woman did it. But now apparently, when I went last time, this place wasn't open. Now Fifty Six Dean Street is just for to go if you have symptoms, and I don't have any, so I went to Dean Street Express. It's called. I think it's number 30, 36, 35? No, there. Anyway. So um, you can look it up online, it's funded by the NHS. So um, so yeah, and then I had to wait 15 minutes for a blood test. I'm not very good with blood tests, so she uh, she's very gentle. The blood test tests for syphilis and HIV, and the swab tests for gonorrhea and chlamydia. And I asked her, I said, how, how often should I come? And she said, well, if you change partners or if you're quite sexually active, or if you're not, she said, you should come every six months. I thought it was a year and a half, it's not, it's every six months. And she said, oh, well, that's to have the chlamydia and gonorrhea test and you can have HIV if you want. And she said, but with gay men, we recommend they come every six months to have the HIV check as well. So yeah, and she was, um, I told her that I'd be um, vlogging about it and she was like, oh, it's really good, it's really good, you know, urge people to come, so go. If you haven't been checked in the last six months, go. They're very nice, you don't feel violated at all. <laughs> You know, they're really professional, nice people. It's all very clean and sanitary and everything. So that was really good. And, um, yeah, you get your results in, like, six hours. It hasn't been six hours yet, but they'll text you the results. So that's really good. I mean, normally blood tests, you have to wait a couple of weeks. This takes six hours. So, so yeah, just waiting for it to come. I'm sure I'm fine. But, yeah, so, good day. Just making sure I'm more healthy and everything while I've got some time off work. So yeah, anyway, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. About five minutes before I, I ended the um, the vlog, but I just got two texts through saying I'm clear, so all good.